Anna, Uli, come in. How's Natalie Meissner? Shocked and upset, like any mother would be in the circumstances. Hardest part of my job, not catching criminals, watching innocent lives shatter. I can only imagine the heartbreak you've witnessed. Have you already interrogated Gustav? Not yet. Just about to start. Uli, bring Gustav Meissner up here. Yes, ma'am. Have a seat. This could take hours. Are you sure it's all right for me to stay? I'm sure, Anna. This is our investigation. You should be here for the end of it. Let's begin. Gustav, we haven't formally met. Lieutenant Judith Hölle. This is Anna Myers. She'll be joining our conversation today. Uh, okay. Gustav. You are being charged on multiple counts of murder. No, no, um, it's just a misunderstanding. Take a breath, Gustav. Calm down. Okay, if I call you Gustav? <laughs> yes. So, Gustav, you are being charged on multiple counts of murder. Uh, that's what you claim. I can't hear you when you mumble. We're also investigating other murders with similarities. <laughs> Are you laughing, Gustav? No. I'm explaining your situation. Oh, okay. This is serious. Now, look at these photos. Which of these people do you remember? Think carefully. Look at her. If you remember this woman, say yes. If not, say no. I don't know about all this. Mm. What about this man? He's a doctor. No. Do you remember this woman? Mm. She's a pretty one. She is pretty. What about her, Gustav? I may have seen her uh, somewhere. Where did you see her? But she has black hair. Mm. The girl I was thinking of was blonde. So maybe it's not her. I see so many people every day. Interesting you remember this one. Maybe I saw her on the street once. Hmm. Have you ever spoken to her? No. May I ask, which ones am I charged with killing? I'll tell you, this is one. <laughs> Who is this woman? I don't know her. Gustav, may I give you some advice? There is a great deal of evidence against you. They have a forensics laboratory downstairs. In the lab, they have a scientist who specializes in analyzing fingerprints. Do you know anything about fingerprints, Gustav? Mm. 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 Every person has their own unique set of fingerprints. You and I, for example. Mumsy and I have the same fingerprints, actually. Mm. No. You may have similar patterns to your mother, but everyone's prints are different. But I, uh... <laughs> Is that true? Yes, Gustav. That's why fingerprints are good evidence. They found your fingerprint in the home of Marie Paget. You were in Marie's home. She's the blonde model in the photo right in front of you. I don't know. You've been there, Gustav. We all know you've been there. The evidence is conclusive. But you seem like a sweet, shy man. Not some kind of monster. Not the sort of man who would hurt innocent young girls. I wouldn't. I would never. Exactly. Sweet, shy Gustav. Your mother's pride and joy. But tomorrow, you will become a celebrity. Who? Me? That's right. You'll be bigger than Carl Jung, Emil Jannings, and even Marcel Golas. Bigger than, um, President Golas? Yes, Gustav. You'll be on the front page of every newspaper tomorrow. Newspapers? <laughs> Everybody in Switzerland will know who you are. I'll be a celebrity? <laughs> Definitely a big celebrity. A very famous serial killer. 
because the evidence is undeniable. Stop playing dumb and confess. Will Mamsie see me in the paper? Oh, she'll be so proud. Judith, may I speak to you for a moment? Of course. What are you thinking? We may have hit a dead end. He's either innocent and touched, or playing mind games. That's the question. Is this man telling the truth? My intuition tells me no. I believe he's not being forthright. I have something we can try. I found new evidence after you left his home. Show it to me. This is an empty case for a straight-edge razor. The same brand of knife that killed Emilia? Exactly the same. Let's show it to him. How are you, Gustav? Need a drink? I haven't drunk anything since the uh, morning. So you're thirsty? Nothing to drink at all. You don't want anything? I, I don't care. Gustav, I am not your mumsy. Give me a clear answer. Do you want a drink? Sometimes when I'm working, I don't eat or drink at all. I'll just get you a coffee. Coffee? Oh, Mumsy says I shouldn't drink coffee. <sighs> Uli, bring him a juice. I don't know the people in the, um, the photos. Gustav, it's over. You're finished. I know you're lying. But I'm not. You're a lying bastard. I didn't kill anyone. I'm innocent. We found your fingerprint in a dead woman's home. And you don't know her. You're a damn liar. That doesn't mean uh, I I'm a killer. I know you're a killer, Gustav. Let me show you something. Recognize this knife? It's a special prototype. Uh, only two barbers as you have it. <laughs> I'm one of them. You must be proud. Where's yours? In my house. Uh, Mumsy will show you. Nope, wasn't there. In your house we found an empty case. Come clean, Gustav. I don't... Uh, I don't... Cooperate? You might get a lighter sentence. I put it in the case. Uh, yesterday, in the case. Last chance, Gustav. Come on. I didn't... Uh... Too late. You lost your chance. We found your knife. I just wanted to scare Marie. Just a little. She made Mumsy upset. <laughs> she was alive when I left her place, I swear. Gustav, do you know Vilma Zoma? I, I want to go home to Mumsy. No more baby talk. Vilma Zoma, 28 years old, mate. <laughs> okay. She was pregnant. Spit it out, Gustav. I know who the father is. It wasn't my fault that she lost our child and then she... The doctor gave her those pills. I didn't kill the baby. The autopsy is conclusive. She had sexual intercourse that day. <laughs> she... we... Where were you on September the 7th? At approximately 4pm. I was uh, at home. Mumsy was there. She'll confirm. We'll ask her. Do you know Vanessa Fiedler? She's not a uh, pretty like film of us. Did you kill her? I didn't kill anybody. Uh, Take him away, Uli. No, I, I didn't do anything. What do you think? He's our killer, right? There is a lot of circumstantial evidence against him. But what about motive? I fail to see the connection between the murders. Before you continue, visit the lab. We found some things in Gustav's pockets. More damning evidence. Visit Dirk. I'll wait. Anna, are you here to examine Gustav's belongings? You did set to prepare them for you. Yes, I'd love to have a look. On the table. Corrosion. 
the vast belly needs more money and stock full of peace and I will suffer every hurt it's what is asked of me splendid another disturbing poem this is damning evidence to be sure thank you dear If you need anything, Anna, you know where to find me. Did you see the evidence? Yes. I agree the poem is incriminating. Though it could theoretically have been planted in Gustav's pocket. What the hell, Anna? Why deny the obvious? Gustav is disturbed. It's obvious just talking to him. He killed Marie because Mumsy hated her. I bet Amelia was a bystander. The Dada poem connects him to Vanessa. Maybe Gustav moonlighted as an artist? The only woman he didn't kill, Vilma? I bet she committed suicide. I must admit, it's a compelling theory. Do you believe his alibi? A desperate mother might cover for her son. Agreed. We can't trust the alibi. We have enough evidence. Gustav's going away for murder. It seems inevitable at this point. By the way... How did you figure out that Gustav was the father of Vilma's child? I didn't. Just a hunch. And he admitted it. What a hunch that was. Well, that was an exhausting day. I'm turning in for the night. Let me know when there are new developments. I bet there won't be. Good night, Anna. I hit that statue again. They're so ugly. I wish Sven would get rid of them. He'll be cross if I leave it like this. I should straighten it out. Phew. I see no witnesses, which means I'm in the clear. I'd better get up to my office. I love being a reporter. What in the world? Great, I found the Dada collage. Take a dictionary, take a pair of scissors, cut out several pages. Then cut out each of the words and put them in a bag. Shake it gently. Then take out the scraps, one after the other, in the order in which they left the bag. Copy conscientiously. The article will be like one of yours. And here you are. A journalist, infinitely witty and endowed with a sensibility that is charming, though unable to understand the vulgar. There's a psychopath who's critical of my work? Besides Sven? Though it's not strictly poetry, I can't help but think this is the Dada Madman's handiwork. Maybe I'll find a few clues if I examine further. I found newspaper clippings. Pieces cut out of a newspaper. I should take a closer look.
this deranged artist used words from my articles for their collage. Gustav's currently in jail, so who made this collage? The poetry, the man outside holding a sign. Was Gustav capable of pulling off such an elaborate plot? I need to reassess. Maybe I should speak with Ruben or Iris about Dada again. Iris is a leading light in the art scene. I wonder if she knew Gustav. You know, it's considered good driving etiquette to alert the building supervisor. Sven, good morning. When you crash your automobile into their property? You noticed. Hmm, I noticed. I'll assess the statue for damage. Anything new to report on Vanessa's case? It's been over a week. The longer the investigation drags on, the more likely it will end up a cold case. The police have a suspect. Splendid. Let's write it up. Give him the front page treatment. I'll be sure to add a section about Dada's corrupting influence on society. Didn't a Dada exhibition get shut down by the police once? Yes, the artist was Otzi Lang. But would you let me finish? There are complications. Of course. There are always complications with this story. Um, is this art? Or was our newspaper murdered as well? Nothing to be concerned about. I just get very unusual fan mail. The police have a suspect for three of the Dada murders, including Vanessa's. However, it's a tangled web which still needs unraveling. There are still loose ends. This special assignment had better lead to a major story. I'm losing patience by the minute. Do you hear me? This Dada story had better be spectacular. It will sell lots of papers, I promise. Until then, I need you to cover the planned construction work on Utiki Street. That's not urgent, though, right? Can I visit the site later today? I have some ideas on the Dada case that I want to investigate. Your deadline is first thing tomorrow morning. And unlike Art, this deadline isn't open to interpretation. Thank you, Sven. Phew. This Dada art is so bizarre. I'm going to visit the gallery again. There must be more to Dada I don't yet understand.